back to my channel thank you so much for coming here guys i really appreciate whenever you see my thumbnail or notification and you click on my video and you watch thank you so much it's because of you that i'm able to do this over and over again thank you i am grateful so today i'm not going to be dragging up and down i'm going to be sharing with you what's in my hospital bag you know one after the other things that are for my baby and things that are for myself um i actually got this list from the hospital and i packed just you know the things that's that is on this list apart from cotton wool they didn't ask me to be cotton wool but i've seen it in a lot of you know mommy's um vlogs and i felt like it's better to overpack than to underpack and also in my hospital they have to observe the new mother for um 24 hours before discharging them so i'm i'm just thinking over my head that I'm going to be using roughly two days. Um, here, we have to pack for three days, um, but we're packing for two days. I'm hoping that that would be enough. So let's jump right into it. Have a right, guys. You're welcome back guys. Yeah, so let's jump straight into it. So I'm packing my baby stuff in his diaper bag and then I have my own box um, where I'll be packing stuff too. I think I'll get to show you that later before the end of this video. I'm still planning on packing for my husband, like packing a small bag for him because I know it's going to be busy. I don't even know um, if he would have to rush down from work when I'm, you know, in labor and all of that. I don't know how it's going to go. So I don't want him to forget anything or get there and start thinking he needs this or that so i'm still going to pack a small bag for my husband um yeah so let's 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 just get straight into it so what are the things i'm packing for my baby you know number one is diaper i'm packing some diapers although i think i'll be packing more than this because i thought before in my mind i was thinking i don't want to spend more than one day at the hospital all things you know or being in call but now i was told that i have to we, we, they have to observe me for 24 hours they have to observe myself and the baby for 24 hours before discharging us so now i know i'm going to pack more diapers so yeah first thing is diapers very very important so the next thing is i'll be packing two receiving blankets um that's because of i'm planning on using two days so two receiving blankets this is one and this is the other one i want to be as fast as possible with this vlog so yeah this is another blanket that can also serve as a swaddle you know um for the baby he gets so um has a pin here and here so this is another blanket but i'm thinking this would be used you know when the baby wants to sleep at night to to swaddle the baby so i have another blanket here then shawl um i'm supposed to actually keep this shawl <laughs> because my mom was saying that it's supposed to be for naming ceremony but i, I will get it's all for the baby in the hand so i'm thinking we might want to use this maybe to cover him in his car seat when we are bringing him back home so i just thought let me bring it i might end up not using it but it's better to have it than not to have it so i'm packing a shawl then towel I actually packed two towels, the big, a big one of these and a small one. So, you know, to definitely dry his body after bath. I don't know if they are going to be bathing him before I come back or they are going to be rubbing him in oil and all of that. I don't know if they are, they do the, um, you know, don't bath the baby immediately clean there. But I just held the towel, um, you know, just in case, you know. Then is grooming kit. I'm still thinking of, um, not bringing everything in this grooming kit like just removing some things maybe um his brush his brush um his comb Pro probably just his brush and his comb you know probably just his brush and his comb i don't think i, I will be needing the other things in the in the grooming kit i don't know if i'll be needing it then I don't know. Maybe I should just carry it along, but that is what I'm contemplating. So here's this grooming kit, has a thermometer, the um, nose, something, small scissors, um, nail clipper and nail cutter, sorry, and all of that. So here's this grooming kit. Then, okay, here it is. Um, 
baking essentials, body wash, powder, oil, sponge, whatever it is that you can think of when it comes to, you know, its body, um, baking essentials inside this nylon. I'm still planning on getting, um, you know, a cotton Ziploc bag before I go to the hospital. But if that does not happen, then I'll just pack it in some of these small, small liners that I have at home and just wrap it and put it in my bag. So, yeah. Another thing is cotton boards. Yeah, I was not asked to pack it for cotton board actually, but I've seen it in other mom's vlogs. So I felt why not? So I'm packing a cotton board and I also have the holy oil. I have the olive oil. I don't know if I should buy one more of these. Um, I actually started using this to clean my nipple before. Though I felt I don't think I have to buy more. But I don't know. Maybe I might before I'm done. Then I have the eucalyptus oil here. The eucalyptus oil here. So I'm packing these two essential oils along with me. Then the pseudo cream. I think this is just like a nappy cream or something. So... I'm packing this, you know, to rub the baby's bulb at home so that my baby's bulb will be glowing, you get. <laughs> yeah, so another thing is the wipes. I bought Huggies. I've been hearing a lot of um, reviews about it, that it's dry, it's all and all. But if it doesn't work for my baby, I'll get another one. But I got Huggies, you know, for baby wipes. So I'm packing baby wipes. And then... It's coming on outfit. So here yeah, is it's coming on outfit. As his name on it, Zaya. So um I love this a lot. My sister-in-law made it for me, his house made it for him. So I'm pairing that with um this I'm pairing that with this pant. I'm pairing it with this pant and um you know and this shoe so it's kind of a color combination you know thing and um, definitely his heart is mittens and um, his heart and mitten is here you know for the coming home house and just in case it has started raining now i don't know how it would be like when my baby comes as a matter of fact right now there's a lot of thick cloud outside so i brought the cardigan of this but definitely i'm going to be taking the picture which is um t-shirt with his name written on it before wearing the cardigan but just in case i'm carrying the cardigan along yeah then i also some slip slip suits you get i'm getting just two of these two slip suits I'm bringing two slip suits along with me for him since you know, I told I'm packing for two days. Also, I was asked to bring three tops, but I'm going to bring in two because I'm planning for two days. So I have this top also that has church boys, church boy apostrophe SNS. Church boys is that nickname. So <laughs> I have this. I'm hoping that it would get to pair this with this and then, you know, it's hard. But if that does not work, you know, then I have this. So I just packed two tops and two pants for him and a hat. Should I get an extra hat? I have another hat for his coming home outfit. I think I should get an extra hat just in case. Yeah, I'll do that. So I have two tops and two pants. And then I'm holding this um, sleeveless, like mini slip suit. I don't know what to call it. I'm bringing it along with me too. I just want to have enough for my baby, even if I don't have enough for me. You get so I bring it along with me too. I don't know if I'm overpacking, but I really don't care at this point. <laughs> yeah. So another thing that I'm bringing with me. Okay, this, this is going to be like his arrival socks. Like this is what I plan on wearing for him. You know, on his first day. So yeah, I'm bringing this with me, and then I have beeps or bob clothes. I have three of them. I love this book clots a lot. I have three of them. And I'm holding two face towels. And this is an extra book clot. I don't know. I might get to use it or not. So I think that's all that I packed for my baby. Okay, there's like actually a bathing soap in this soap case. But I already have a body wash. But since the bathing soap and the distance was inside the list they gave me, I felt let me just 
pack it along and also guys please give me the comment section um you know ideas on skin you know the, a very good skin um care kit that i can get for my baby especially body lotion you know please i i wouldn't mind you know and if somebody asked me to buy ceramic baby lotion i don't know if that works please let me know in the comment section and yeah so i can get it because my baby has to be looking lush as lush as possible <laughs> So guys, now that I'm done with what I packed for my baby, like I already packed everything together in one place. Everything that I just showed you is now here. So, um, I'm going to move on and, um, I'm going to move on to what I packed for myself. So yeah, let's jump into it. First thing is I packed a um, towel, a body towel for my bed. Basically everything is just like, normal things you will pack if you are traveling apart from things to take care of down there you get you know so just picture yourself as i'm traveling for it for two days what am i going to pack pack that and then pack things that you know you are going to take care used to take care of down there and up here you get so yeah um towel and then i packed a pajamas you know for passing the night i packed a pm set of pajamas and then i packed the robe to just in case i'll be needing that you know i just need something that would be easy easy for me to open at the front and feed my baby so i packed the robe uh, then this is my coming home outfit then i packed my coming home outfit this is my coming home outfit actually a friend of mine said she was going to make me a clothes a dress for my coming home house feet but it's not here yet i'm hoping to be here before i give birth if i don't go to labor right now or tomorrow you get so <laughs> i packed this as my coming home outfit then just like i told you the other time when i was talking about what i packed for my baby i packed the cardigan for myself too it has started raining now i love rainy seasons a lot brings the comfort and home so yeah i'm packing a cardigan for myself this cardigan was also given to me by my sister-in-law and was customized you know catch it too by had the day was customized after our youtube channel so yeah i'm packing this so that nurses and doctors can see i come and subscribe to my channel too so yeah i'm packing a cardigan then um i just packed two change of clothes just in case i'm packing these then i'm packing this t-shirt and these um joggers you know just in case i need to god forbid or just in case i need to stay there for longer or i need to come out of my robe and wear something so i'm planning on wearing that they were asked to bring a scarf or bonnet i'm thinking that that's to pack your hair you have plenty here you know during labor so i just packed my bonnet with with me so yeah that's basically everything that i packed you know when it comes to clothing and then but, so i got this disposable one that were there do with disposable pants you get so i don't know if i'll still get to need my normal pants but i just bought extra new ones but yeah we have to bring disposable pants and that's that's that next part sanitary pads or should i call it sanitary pad or maternity pad i don't know well sanitary pad is written on it so yeah we have to bring three of these so i just packed the three that i bought hopefully i'll not be needing up to that but yeah I don't even know what is inside. I don't know how it looks like, but I just packed it. So I bought three of these. Then maternity bras. I bought two maternity bras. I don't know why maternity bras are always not cute, but yeah, I just bought two of them. Um, and I'm taking it to, to the hospital. If I will be needing more. I will definitely buy both. Those are the two. Definitely, I'll be needing more. Well, those are the two I bought, and those are the two I'm taking to the hospital. So, nipple cream, methylated spirits, breast pads. I have breast pads here. Can you see? Boobies start leaking before I come back home. Hopefully, by God's grace. So, I bought breast pads. And then, we talked about cotton wool. I, I'm holding the cotton wool. I don't know if 
I would still end up holding it because they did not ask me to bring it, like I said, but just in case. Then I'm carrying my Crocs. I'm carrying my Crocs, you know, just to walk up and down the other hospital. I'm carrying my Crocs. I thought of buying, you know, slippers, you know, maybe bedroom slippers or comfortable, you know, all these fluffy slippers, but I just felt like I have my Crocs. It's very comfortable. Why waste money on buying something else? So I'll be bringing my Crocs along with me. And these are my skincare products and this is just my, you know, spray. So I'm bringing that along. I told you guys, just put things together that you put together if you are traveling and things to take care of up here and down there. So that's basically the plan. Here's my bathing and um, just brush, my bathing um, soap. I'll definitely stick it in my sponge. I forgot that. So my sponge. Here's my cream, my air spray. I'll still packing, you know, a little makeup stuff for um you know the face since we are going to be dead then i want to take pictures i don't want to be looking at in my pictures i'm hoping i'll be able to lose this my hair before i go into labor if it comes next week then i might be able to lose my hair before i go into labor but if not then i think i'm going to go into labor with this hair on my head my husband is going to abuse me i've made hair a lot this month this is like the second hair on my head this month so yeah that's basically everything guys that i packed for myself and my baby let me know if there is well by the time i would have posted this ever i would have given birth so <laughs> honestly let me know if there's anything else that i'm supposed to pack so yeah guys i am going to still go through this stuff again and again because i can go to labor anytime soon i'm nine months and some weeks pregnant already like i'm close to 39 weeks basically so yeah um i'll let you know if there's anything that i added so guys thank you very much for sticking to the end if you did <laughs> i love you so much remember that jesus loves you more your prayers your congratulations everything like i used to say is welcome to the comment section thank you very much till we meet next week take care of yourself guys bye